What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Don the Don. Today we're doing episode two. Very excited about after last episode. I'm not gonna waste any more time. If you guys wanna watch this episode uncut, check out that Patreon. You guys can also watch this live with me before it even goes on Patreon, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Uh, Don the Don, uh, season one, episode two. Let's do it. Okay, exactly where we left off. Okay. You just can't say my name? Cool. So his name is not Ken anymore. We're calling him Okarun. Uh-huh. I like how we're cutting between very small frames in this larger panel. Gives me manga vibes. He literally just ripped ass in her face. Is this? I mean, her grandma was a. S this should be an interesting meeting. Meeting with her grandma being a meet. It's like when a demon steps in church and they catch on fire. You know, she is an official curse. Pull us into the water with the Amaterasu. Holy shit. I would be so nervous. <laughs> That's exactly how I would be doing it. <laughs> they're so funny in the way they're so outgoing. I thought she was kind of memeing by just cursing. Is his weenie actually gone? My man actually lost his weenie? <laughs> Especially with his little story, it hurt so much. I don't want to pause it. It hit so much more during editing last week when I was rewatching because I was so invested in like the hype of the first episode and really pay too much attention to my boy Ken's uh, story. But him wanting friends his entire life, being nothing but made fun of, reaching out to aliens, hoping if I can't have friends here, hopefully just for the first aliens he meets to be horny, perverted, crazies that don't want his banana. Man's heartbroken. I get it. He doesn't want to miss his one to make an actual friend, you know. Oh. I hope my boy Ken gets so many friends. Yeah, but, you know, that's like, it reminds me of Rudy from Mushoku, you know. Once you've been in a certain level of, uh, once you have a certain mindset, it's just, you kind of naturally push people out, you know. I already like both these characters so much. I mean, we did take the barrier off. That wasn't the wisest. I didn't even think about that in the slightest. Is that random blood? Where the fuck did the blood come from? Is it raining blood? What in the upside down nutcracker? Are we playing Shadow of the Colossus? If he says you're weenie, bruh. What's up with everyone in this show wanting wieners? Oh, 
You got another weenie? Oh, it's an alien? Flatwoods monster. What are you supposed to do? I wonder if she can transform certain parts of us to fight. Maybe we can use Granny's arm to gobble his weenie. Okay, Okarun. His design is so cool. I love how flowy it is. <laughs> Why is he so swaggy now? Yo, hey, I'm, I'm a cool guy now. What's up? He is literally depressed. So we can only use that power for like a minute. Do we have, is it like bleach? We have a time limit? Yup. I, I mean, it does have a sumo stance, that's for sure. I thought sumo, you had to get out of the ring. If you t hand touches, is that, a, is that a loss? Give me your banana is a crazy way to start a fight. Yeah. Good work, guys. That's the most flexible sumo wrestler I've ever seen in my life. We got a sumo wrestling alien pummeling a high school girl. We're out of the plot? That's a good point. You're gonna use her powers, put the barrier back up. That's smart. Okay. We are going to have some crazy adventures. All that episode was... Wow, that was so fast. Just like that, we're back to normal. And just like that... I mean, you have been using your psychic powers for 12 hours straight and you just get pummeled by a fucking sumo wrestling alien. Oh, I hate and I love that shot from the top of the mouth to the bottom. It shows how wide that jaw is. Pause. What that mouth do? What sort of ending to the episode? Okay. I love how fast paced this episode was because it quite literally all took place in the in like a 30 minute window in the hours after last episode. Like it felt like this was just like boom 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 like they didn't they didn't hold the brakes off at all this is this is i can already tell especially with modern anime this is going to be a crazily paced show um but i'm glad they still do let it breathe in certain aspects like with the whole getting changed scene with um okarun describing his feelings of i don't know how to necessarily put him into words just his depression over the years and how he hates putting his negativity or his bad feelings onto other people. And that's why he apologizes to ISA for getting her involved in this mess. But she was like, you know, I obviously there 
cool with each other they're gonna grow on each other and i think it's so funny their dynamic and their relationship so far i can i'm only excited to see where it goes i was totally expecting to see her grandma this episode the only reason i say that i don't think she's a lady with the white hair but i know there is the lady with the white hair from the opening so where is she gonna play in i'm very curious i love these episodes this episode hopefully you guys did as well don't forget to leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut version. Check out the Twitch to watch it live with us. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell us when you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.